Hey everybody. Jenny had asked me to make this video a long time ago when this time came. So this is just an update to let you know that Jenny, our beautiful, beautiful girl, our beautiful angel, has become an angel. Jenny became a beautiful angel on November 5th, 2023, at exactly 5 o'clock. We thought it was pretty fitting that she passed right at 5 on November 5th. She was always big into signs numbers this is beautiful so Jenny's earthly body is gone but as many of you know her soul and her spirit will live on in all of us forever She got to come home. She got to be with her kids. She got what she wanted at the end. Um, she was only on hospice for I think less than a week. Feels like forever, but it was a short time. And she was ready to go. She was ready to go. Her poor body couldn't fight anymore. And let me redirect that. Her poor body went through enough. Went through enough. Jenny always told me that she was going to be excited for one thing. When she passed among other things but you know what I mean <clears throat> there was something on this earth that she felt like kind of a booyah moment for when she passed and she used to tell me I want you to let everyone know that I didn't lose any battle I didn't lose the fight I didn't lose anything I beat I beat cancer And some people might say, what does that mean? She used to say, when I'm gone, and my heart is no longer beating, that cancer will not be able to survive. The cancer needs a body to thrive on. And now hers is gone. The cancer is dead. She finally beat it. Um, these last few days have been very, very empty. Um, although our house is full with many people who are supporting and helping us, my family, her sister, her sister's husband, her best friend and kids, some of Jenny's other closest friends, family members, um, have been at the house <clears throat> constantly helping me organize cook dinners laundry um, put up Christmas it's very nice but it sure feels empty here <laughs> I miss my wife so much my wife <laughs> I'm 
gonna have to learn a lot about this uh, process. Life after loss. Right now it doesn't feel possible. It doesn't feel real. I feel the heaviest feeling I've ever felt. I feel sick to my stomach. The day that it happened was um, as beautiful as that day can be. <clears throat> some of it's really personal, but I'd like to share some things about the very end. Um, um, on the last night, on the 4th, um, she, in the middle of the night, uh, tried to get out of the bed and I was sleeping right next to her. We moved our regular bed into the living room and got rid of the hospital bed. We didn't want anything to do with the hospital bed. That's another story. So we moved her huge comfy bed into the living room. It looked so cute. We put Christmas stuff all around it. And um, she wasn't supposed to be getting out of bed. There was no reason to. She had all the things she needed in the bed. Um, and she was unable to walk at the end. <clears throat> And she got out of bed quickly. I was asleep next to her, and I felt her move. And I jumped up, and I fall. <laughs> and I uh, pick her up off the ground. She's so little. So frail. She was confused. And I lifted her back into the bed. And her best friend and I asked her sister to come over. Jenny was just kind of under some distress, a little confused, a little scared. Then her sister came over and she gave the biggest look of relief that I had seen in a while. And we all just held her hand, and at one point she wanted to stand up again. And we're all trying to keep her down, keep her down, and she was adamant. She said, you know, she, in her own way, said, I'm standing in her own words, in her own body language, and she stood. It was one of the best moments of my life. She wrapped her arms around me, just stood there for an embrace. Such a nice hug. It was almost like a little dance. And then as soon as she did that, she laid down. We called the nurse out. She said that she was pretty positive that Jenny was transitioning. We made her as comfortable as ever. There was a lot of peace in her body, in her face. She was very peaceful. And then we said goodbye. We all said goodbye. That last day, all I did, the whole day, her sister and her best friend were giving her medicine. And I got to just lay with her the entire day. Just hold her the entire day. <laughs> she couldn't do much. There was a couple times where her hand gripped mine really tight. got to keep my arms around her the whole time until she passed so <clears throat> Jenny is gone but she's not gone her body is gone but her spirit and her soul is with us all I talk to her every day Uh, the kids are really struggling, as am I. We've all tried to keep ourselves busy. Try not to think about it. <clears throat> 